Five thousand years later. Hello, artist Caleb here, back with a little bit of mist. Revelation. So let's uh let's let's go. Let's do this. Let's get some mist going here. What do you say? How's everybody been? Really great? Um I wanna get off this ride. Okay, so Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is coming out. Are you going to see it? I'm kind of excited to see it, to tell you the truth. Oh, hey, crab. Yeah, it was like wicked Dak down there. <laughs> um, yeah, I like the, uh, the galaxies with the Guardians and stuff in them. It's pretty nice. Hey, there's a place in here that we've never gone, by the way. And it's just right up this path, right here. Let's check it out. Whoa. Whoa. Holy mackerel. Might want to kind of back off from the edge right there. This is life on the edge. Sounds like somebody's playing the didge or something out there. There's Vesuvius. I think we should be okay. This is so cool. This is unbelievable. Look out here, by the way. Oh, don't you just love that storm? Oh, what I wouldn't give for a linking book. Man alive. I'd link out of this planet every time I got a call from a student loan place. Be like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would suck, though, is if it was like Narnia. So every time you left, you know, you could like spend a lifetime away and come back and only a second had passed. Nah, I'd just take off. Wow, I just love this right here. This is so gorgeous. I love this storm out there. Look at the way that the water sparkles. Man, that's incredible. Same thing with out here. I'll have to, like, kind of shield us from the sun here, but... Watch the water sparkling out there, if you can see that. Isn't that amazing? So beautiful. That was just that edge, you know? That edge that, um... Cyan had. And in my opinion, still has. I mean, I personally love... Uh, abduction. And we're gonna start playing that again, by the way. Because, uh, I really miss it. Let's just crawl down here. <coughs> so I hope I don't get lost going through here. I don't think I don't think we're gonna get lost, but it's a little bit of a maze. Yeah, okay, so all we do is just keep going straight pretty much. I think. I might have to look behind me a few times, but I don't like looking behind me because then I kinda get lost. Alright. Straight on. Keep our distance from the death trees. Yep, straight. The Horn of Fury. I'm just, I don't know if it's the Horn of Fury. I just figured I'd name it that. <laughs> For the heck of it. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that goes up to the lake right there. And that actually is the direction that we're going in. I think we have to go up this way now. Uh-huh. Oh, I, I always love that little, this little view right here. Look at that with the light streaming through like that, the trees and everything. Oh, man, that's so gorgeous. It just conjures up memories of, I don't know, I guess, light going through. Whoa! Things. Don't worry, we're nearly, we're nearly there. Just gotta keep our distance from these velociraptors and stuff, and, and we're gonna be all right. Easy. Check it out, it's a xenomorph. It's another bug hunt. Oh wait, the butt tree. <laughs> <laughs> gotta give the, uh, the high five. Oh wait. Hey, buddy. 
How you doing? Let's just kind of give him little uh, scratches and stuff. High five. All right. So I hope you've been doing really well. And uh, things are pretty much uh, status quo here. Just keeping on with the game development. Let's just uh, yank that. I don't think we can do anything with this yet. Yes, yes we can. Of course we can. I knew that. I knew that for sure. Okay, so now this puzzle right here... This is kind of tricky, but the way that it works is those totem poles that we've been taking pictures of. Here, let me just show you really quick. And I've got all the pictures here. All right, let's just see here. No, that's not one. This is... Wait, hang on. There's one right there. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. And there's one. So there's five of them in total. Okay? And then what you have to do is you've got to, um, uh, well, just basically enter them in in this little little puzzle right down here. And so, let's see here. Here's how this works. I'm going to have to just do this. So, the first thing that we're doing is showing, I think it's, I think it's this one. And then, no, no, wait. Is it that right there? I think. Okay, it's, so it's that one, this one, and let me see. See, one of them is broken, too. So we got to get, let's see here. Is it one, two, three, four, five? Yeah. Okay, and then just put that right there, like that. Um, and actually, this one right here. Wait a second. That one gets this one. And then... I gotta try to remember here. Hang on a second. It's uh, four holes, and then I think this one is. No, that's not right. Maybe it's like this, right here. Okay. So then we set this one back to right there, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna be it. Those are the symbols. Let's give it a yank. See, check it out. We hit the jackpot. Dang it, I thought money was going to come out of here. Oh, well. Slap! <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, excellent. So, um... This is some stuff that we haven't got to gotten to see up to this point, so I'm pretty excited about this, to tell you the truth. I'm just uh, going to be looking around a lot, and I don't want that to annoy anybody, but this is one of those games that you do have to look around a lot, you know, and for me, mostly, it's because of the art and the atmosphere, which is what I love so much. So I know that it borders on the maddening for, for some folks, but other people like it, too. I'll even look down at the wood. That's how much I like this. Okay, so, hey, has anybody been keeping up with uh, Samurai Jack with the latest season? I've been watching that, and uh, what what are your opinions on it? I think it's I think it's see I just I love Samurai Jack, so um, I'm pretty thil uh, pretty thrilled about this new season. I'm also pretty surprised it is not a kids show anymore. <laughs> well, at least I I don't think maybe it is I don't know but. Let's check out the little little hut here. Oh, and check it out too. I just found out Shirley Curry got to go to PAX East. If you don't know who Shirley Curry is, by the way, about a quarter of a million people do now. Um, just go over to her channel, Shirley Curry. She is uh, she's wonderful, and she got to go to PAX East, and I just thought that was really amazing. Wanted to mention that. Is this a dead man's chest? Filled with, like, yo-ho-ho -ho and stuff? No? Let's see here, though. It's got a, uh... It's got a Steve Zizo... Steve Z mask right here. And, uh, some of this stuff. Some snow snowshoes. Oh, no, those are flippers. <laughs> I was gonna say. Why would you need snowshoes? I don't know. 
Also, too, if you get a chance, go over to uh, uh, Couch Warrior TV and um, check out that channel. They're, they're fantastic. By the way, they're going to be uh, doing an interview with me uh, somewhere around May 6th um, at uh, GlitchCon. And I'm so excited about that, I, c I can't even sit straight. I'm telling you, those... Those guys are wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, so, um... There's a bunch of stuff in here we're gonna be doing. First of all, we're gonna be taking a picture of this. I don't know if we can take a picture of it. Like, I think we can. Yeah, we can. Alright, sweet. He's got a face only a mother could love. He's a wise old monkey. And let's go uh, right over here, too. This music right in here, it's, uh... If you can tell, it's just, it's more emotionally, like, charged. More impactful. It's so gorgeous. And there's a reason for that coming up. A reason that I think will kind of blow your mind a little bit. I don't think that we can, like, look behind this or lift it up or anything. I think we're just taking a picture of it. you'll notice, by the way, this has the... Oh, no, dang it. Son of a doggone it. It has the instant slimming uh, filter. See? <laughs> Let's just erase that photo, by the way. We don't need two of them. All right, so 19, 18, 19... Wait, 19, 18. Yeah, let's get rid of this one right here. Is this the delete one? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for here. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. This was uh, uh, Obi-Wan's shirt right here, as you can see. He, he, he didn't just vanish, by the way, in his robe when he, when he got, you know, chopped up by Anakin. Nah, he used to do that all the time. It's how he got changed. Let's take a look at the memory. just the shirt having those thoughts <laughs> like you know like if our clothes were sentient or something like that I just like to imagine that <laughs> okay now I love this book stuff you know what I really really love in this uh, in this one is that um, uh, they're actually dramatized you know, somebody reads them, the, or the, the actors read them, which is, which is great. You know, I, I love reading them and everything like that, that, but they do it better than me. You know, they, they do it without mumbling and spitting and stuttering and stuff. Chapter one. I'm sure I can do this. Anne feels awkward. Keeps slipping. Been so long since I used one. But what else is there? What else to do? Went back to wreck today. First time since moving into house. Found his bones exactly how I left them. So clean now. Bleached white by the sea. How many times have I replayed it since then? Sun sinking into the waves. Tip of my spear. Gleaming wet with the poison. See myself crouching low near the rock, so sure he will come because of his mate. Sometimes in my head, it happens different. Poison gets diluted, or one of her ropes snaps and breaks. He rears back, spear misses. Somehow they both get away. And we all get one more day worth living for. 
reset traps today. Swamp water corroded one of them. Forced to go to depot to fix. Coming back, saw a commodile take down a Zeftir. Moved with such precision, not a single gesture wasted. Zeftir probably didn't feel a thing. Four stars. It's not what I expected. Living lakeside. It's calmer. Not as windy. But rain still beats down like in the wreck. And it's hot. Still hot. And rent price is really, really high. Only real difference is the screens. A lot closer now. On all sides. Starting to get on my nerves. Can't sleep. Too many screams. And when I close my eyes, the things I see, the faces. My God, Cyrus, did we really kill so many? I used to say that every night in my apartment complex back in Tucson. Added it up, best I could. Eight years, three since I killed the last Serpati. Keep thinking I should do something for him. Play some kind of tribute next to the bones. Totem pole, maybe. God knows. Carving it would keep me busy for a while. Maybe I can make one for each of them. What's the use? What's the use? Can't go on like this. Can't think. Same here. I almost can never think. Have to do something. Keep my mind off the dreams. Maybe, maybe go south for a few days, sleep outside. My godfather. Did it's it me. have to be the same? I'm the godfather. Two weeks working my way through the south jungle, and for what? More of the same, more of the same empty nothingness. Can't take it anymore. Can't live like this. Kronax got in while I was away. Forgot how agile they are. Braver, too, when they're hunting in groups. Been breeding like mad ever since I killed their primary predator. Should probably do something about that. But maybe I can redesign one end of the bridge. Create some kind of lock to keep them out. Went back to the south jungle today. Hoping I'd missed some. By the way, Karnax are like, uh, they're like mogwais. Never get them wet and don't ever feed them after midnight. Have to do something. Thing. Saw a group of mangries playing under their nests. No, mangries is what I'm talking about. Replenishing supplies, but couldn't do it. They just looked too peaceful. Eventually turned to go and spied one of them watching me. Their lookout, I suppose. I wonder how long he knew I was there. Ink supply getting low. Watering it down, but might try to make more. The way the channel would tree dwellers once taught me. Found some petals in the south jungle that might work for the ink. Picked a few to take back as an experiment. While picking them, I noticed something odd about the mangrees. In the north, they all scatter as soon as they spot me, but the south tribe only looks curious. Must be because I never hunted them. New ink seems okay. Would prefer a better color, though. I'll head back to the south jungle in the morning, see if I can find different varieties. I don't believe it. Went back to gather more petals, and found a bunch of them already picked. They were lying in a pile where I'd been working. Mangries must have done it. Imitating me? Spent most of the morning in the watchtower trying to observe from a distance. Find out how they act when I'm not there. Couldn't see much though, trees are too thick. Would like to get closer somehow. I suppose I could build another post, but it'd have to be different this time. Not a lot left I can take from the wreck. 
kind of like the idea of going all natural. <laughs> no! Leave your clothes on! How the heck did Savidro's people do it? Been weaving support branches all day and my arms and chest muscles are killing me. Mangri sure got a kick out of watching, though. One of them even stopped playing long enough to come over and give me advice. At least that's how it seemed. Wouldn't stop chirruping at me. Made me want to rig up another sound system, see if I can try and talk back. Oh my god. It can't be. It can't. This evening, I was sketching in the post, trying to get their expressions right. Mangries were playing that game they liked to play, fruit tossing. Ball must have rolled under the post. All of a sudden, I heard this cry I'd never heard before. Sequence of drawn out highs and lows. Looked up and found all of them looking at me, pointing at the ball and making that sound. Like they were calling a name. My name. They've given me a name. What am I supposed to do with this, Father? What am I supposed to do? Wow. Okay, see? So, it looks like he's, um... He's having a crisis of conscience about this. Pretty interesting. Looks like we might be seeing a change of character. Pretty cool. Gotta say, I was pretty surprised about that. Oh, isn't this so cool up here, by the way? Look at this flag hanging down here. Isn't that so neat? See, it's... It's waving around up there, and it kind of... Falls down here. Wow, I love that. I love this thing, too. I love everything up here. Did I ever tell you? Oh, yeah, that's right. I told you about the treehouse. Yeah, <laughs> of course I told you. It was like a few episodes back, but I forgot because it was like 10 years ago. Sorry about that. Anyway, so... He's using this to, to look at his neighbors. Yeah, this is ideal. I love this. I'd hang out here a lot. Wow, I love it. Well, let's take a look. Huh. The world sure is low res through this. I'm not sure what it is that we're supposed to be seeing, though. Ah, a dragonfly. QED. Yeah, I don't... Wait, what's that? I think maybe there's something going on right there. Is there? I don't know. Let's see. More dragonflies. Whoa! <gasps> oh, okay. I thought it was a dragonfly at first, and I was like, <laughs> Oh, I'm not going out there anymore. Yeah, I don't know what it is that we're supposed to be looking at yet, but I shall find out for us. Another dragon flag. There's a couple of them right there. That's good. Nice day for some dragonfly spotting. No trains to spot, so just dragonflies. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else there there is. However, there is this thing right here. And I think we're going to take a picture of this. Yeah, we are. Come on, they should have had some births by now. Why aren't they reproducing? Oh god. What if I kill too many females? Way to go, man. Well, they're not reproducing because they don't like being spied on while they're, you know... Kind of embarrassing. Would you mean would you like it? <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love it. Let's see though, I think that we can Well we should be able to let's see here. 
I think we can uh, lift this up here. Yeah, yeah. Dang it. Nope. Right there. <sighs> All right. Now, now we'll take a look at it and we'll take a picture here. Gotta be a caricature artist to get that expression right. Let's take a picture of that. Looks good. Oh yeah, let's get a picture of this too. Excellent. I think that's pretty much it. I hope I'm not missing anything, but I don't think that I am. So, and we're about to, uh, well, first, we're, well, we're about to, uh, come to the end of the episode here, but, but, but not quite, because there's still something I want to show you. I think you're really going to dig it. Ah, it's a beautiful day in the lake here. Beautiful day on Lake Wobegon. Look at this, isn't this cool? Yeah, I love it. I'd hang out on the beach right here, I think. As long as the water wasn't foul. It's just beautiful. Listen to that music, it's really really, really good. I'm sure that it's going to get me a copyright claim. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just keep following the yellow brick board path. I know, I know I'm looking around all over the place, and it's... You know, the thing is, is that... I, maybe I should just look around slow. <gasps> <laughs> Easy, boy. How you doing? Uh-huh. <laughs> what you trying to tell me? Is someone in trouble? Yeah, me. Yeah, we're going to we're going to look at what's going on over here. So let's go ahead and uh avoid him like the plague. Take this path over here. I, you know what? When I was exploring this, I honestly thought that he was gonna somehow be able to get over here. But as you can see, he's he's further down, and we're we're higher up on this trail right here. But I thought he was gonna like come popping around this corner over here, and it took me a, like a minute to remember. You know, this isn't that type of game. <laughs> we're gonna be okay. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Watch out, watch out, guys. Look out, Mangries. Do you think they're mangry or do you think they're mm, happy? <laughs> Right there, right now they're mm, scared. Okay, yeah, and we got to take a picture of this right here. Looks good. And I don't think that there's anything we can do with this. Nope. By the way, look at this. This is really, this is really cool. This little tree fort up here. This observation part. So you can walk around to the other side of the tree. We can't do it you know, here, but I just think that's kind of neat. I like this little fort. And we've got uh, this thing going on right here. Obviously, it's going to produce some uh, sounds that we can communicate with them, but we're not going to get into that in this episode. We're going to do that in the next one. 
But uh, I just wanted to show you this because it looked really cool. Anyway, um, big hugs. I hope you're all doing great. If you get a chance uh, um, to become a patron, that'd be awesome. Uh, and uh, check out the uh, game trove occasionally. Also, there's another thing too. There are um, I'm working on some right now, but there are uh, game plays that are exclusive to the uh, to uh, to patrons. Um, and so they're they're over there, and you can watch those there. And I'll get some more up right now. I've I've only got one, but <laughs> there's gonna be a bunch more coming. Anyway, big hugs, and I will see everyone later. All right, see ya.